Saturday morning, Minnesota. I am David Austin with DavidAustinGallery.com. And you may notice we're not inside today. We're outside. So we're going to paint plein air. We'll see how it goes. If the wind picks up from the lake, it could be a bit, a bit dramatic. And it's bright, so I'm wearing my sunglasses because I'm looking at this white surface here I laid down. We're going to do something super it's fun. We're going to work with the Marabou inks and avoid using the term alcohol after this because for, I think they kind of, I think they scaled us down at some point, didn't they? Yeah. He's got a problem back there already. It's fine. Just again. <laughs> How Instagram many is running going? me through a tutorial like I've never you got three different. Uh, oh, for heaven's I know how to do this. <laughs> wow, Instagram. I've been doing it for two years. Yeah, they would think that they would have figured that out. So I, I have some, I have just, this is a muslin, I think, or something down here. Isn't that this fabric? Yeah. That we're going to make a big painting out of later. But well, I wanted to do that so you could really see the colors pop because the inks that we're using, the, the color is amazing. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then I put a little piece of the tissue paper that comes underneath and between these layers. This is 19 by 24 inch Duralar. And it's basically a, you know, like an acrylic type of, it's, it's a polyester film is what they call it on here. Permanent inks, it's heat resistant, it's archival, cuts cleanly, it's neat stuff. And then I've got some other little 9x12s. These are just simply some little pieces of acrylic or plexi. I don't know what, but they do some neat things too. We might get to those. So I'm going to take this down because it, 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 there is a breeze. <laughs> and we haven't done an outside one, I think, since we were in the old house back in Michigan. So I'm just taping that the borders I'm playing with and, and two, so we we know uh, where everything is. Now, one of the reasons we haven't done these is because the Indian welfare. I can see as we shouldn't do this. Nobody should. Do if you do it, uh, make sure you're well, well ventilated. Okay, that's my recommendation. So we're going to work with a couple different things. We've got the little bottles of the. Really cool. Thank you, Marabou, again for these. I haven't pulled these out in a while, and we thought this would be fun today. And then we got the graphics sketch markers, and these are really nice little markers. This is just a small set. They have a lot of different colors that you can use. Let's get those out of here. I've been itching to get back to these pistol meters in a while. Look at that. So they have two side tips. You got a broad chisel and then a fine point. One of the things I know it's silly. Can you guess one of the things I really like about this pistol? No. Square. Oh, it doesn't roll. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So we're outdoors in our yard. It's a new yard for us, basically, as of December. And you might hear the waterfall in the background. We got a little one going. And so I'm gonna start out kind of like I do a lot of my paintings. Those of you that follow, I'm gonna just make some gestures because um, I got to loosen up a little. I got up at 2.30 a.m. and I cleaned the studio because it's been crazy. So I cleaned it for until 6.30 this morning. <laughs> then I had a snack and then I uh, took a nap. So I just got up for the second time today. And I might be inspired by the really cool little those again. I don't know if they're invasive really sure. or if they're oh, I'm really sorry, but we're not used to. Yeah, it's interesting. There's a, there's birds and, and plants that we're not actually it's only one state over, but it's amazing the difference. Well being on a migratory bird path is a huge one. I think it makes a, makes a large a difference, difference in what happens in our yard. So I'm going to do, I also have some of the Marabou Easy Marble stuff. So I'm going to play a little bit with this. I'm going to try some things that I haven't tried before. So it could be interesting. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just hoping I can get the cap off because I want a whole bunch of this stuff out. Hi, everybody. You get a chance to use your bathing suit today because it's like muggy and 80. <laughs> so oh, the cap comes off. I'm so excited. So this is a metallic marble. It's a yellow, metallic uh, yellow. No, this is gold. Wow, can't even talk. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw it down using a palette knife. 
You see most people using, just dribbling these things on, but you can smell them already. Yeah, they're intense. So we're going to do, like I said, some different stuff today. And you can scratch through it, make some scraffito. Can you guys talk about the acetate you're using? Uh, again, it's a per, it's a um, archival polyester film from Duralap, Duralar. I'll show that again. And it's not as heavy as I want. I'd like to play with some more plexi, but I just haven't had the opportunity yet to do that. So he's actually painting on that acetate. There's fabric underneath because it's a really ugly table. Yeah, <laughs> this is a fact. I'll put that cap back on there for drizzling later. I'm going to take some blue. This is why we wear the gloves, though. Okay? I can't stress that enough, please. Where are your gloves? These are nitrile mechanics gloves. They hold up a lot better than, like, the exam gloves and things. Yeah. So shake Hi, well. Bettina. All of these shake really well. This is the easy marble again. And uh, to be honest, I didn't prepare fully today. This was, like, a last-minute thing I decided when I was in getting ready to, to come out. I'm going to do the same thing. I love these metallics, though. My goodness. I'm just going to pull that I'm sneaking right underneath that tape. <laughs> yeah. I knew it would. <laughs> so, similar painting techniques I've used before. Now, I'm not scraping real hard. I'm just kind of allowing the weight of this to cross the... It, because it's so smooth and this is so fluid, if you draw it tight, it's going to just scrape it clean. So, kind of like a floating technique, then? Yeah. How many petals are on those pages? Just six. six. Wow, everybody's joining in this morning. Yeah, we started early last week and late this week, so. Yeah, a little bit late. So you can use these markers, they're alcohol-based too, so you can draw them through there. No problem with clever. Now I'm gonna try and find, they look really bright. How about some powdered pink? Or we can go, ooh, neon pink. Do I have enough left? I have a little bit. I'll use it up for you guys. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that. that's vibrant. I can see it through my sunglasses. Yeah. I'm wearing <laughs> the sunglasses. I'm sorry, everybody, but I had to because I, I couldn't see. Couldn't see today. A little goes a long way with this stuff, um, but I am working larger and larger with the inks. At least I was until recently because when we moved, I, it, it was in the winter. So we weren't able to, to really do a lot with this stuff. But you do want to shake them again really well. Especially the metallics. They don't have something else. Ah, so this one's not it's not open yet. So I keep push pins nearby. And I do this away from my face. When you push it down through, you gotta go down pretty hard. Like that. And now you're good to go. Insert adult joke. <laughs> Not a lot. I'm not sure I like that as much. Oh, we'll skip that one. It's not bright enough. Yeah. You know those stick in the plastic pen and draw and then peel it up to make it disappear? Oh, yeah. That's kind of a neat idea. So it's I going like to, it. every, everything you put down is going to affect the previous layer, which I find to be fascinating. I really like that. So you can see it's really reacting with the, uh, the fluorescent pink. Even if it's dry, it's discovery, which is fascinating to me. Do they have a center? They have a yellow center, don't they? Mm, yeah, they do. Let's do ridiculous neon yellow center. Wait a minute, what else do I have in here? There's the lemon. I like the lemon. Here is a neon orange, right? Let's do that one. A little bit of a breeze, thank God. 
Does anybody want to see the flower over here? We'll take you over to the flower. Uh, you think one will be harder. You're attached to the computer. That one's not moving. So you hear the rattle? So the metallics have a little rattle on them. This is my, one of my favorite metallic oranges. I haven't opened a bunch of these yet because I got so enthralled with some of the metallics and the neon colors. And here comes the train. Here comes the train. We have a tourist train that goes by several times a day. I actually really love that. So now we can take the extender and find it in the pile here. There's an extender, which is basically an alcohol, uh, isopropyl alcohol. I really hope we don't get pain for something. But I don't know. Not. We're going to see what we're going to see today. We haven't we're used that word on, on, on television in a long time. Oh, yeah. See how that's climbing? That? That's a lot of fun. We'll take it right through there. So I didn't want to take the color all over the place. And use that and that'll help draw some of that color in. Anybody then, have any questions this morning about alcohol inks? Intoxicating inks? <laughs> <laughs> Very intoxicating. Love these things. Not really intoxicating. It's a figure of speech. <laughs> we got like the 80s rock going on. I put on pop and this is what <laughs> I didn't even to pick a generation of pop for the music today. Pick something and stay <laughs> So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to use the extender. The nice thing is later you can go back over these. And I've gone all, I've had some success using acrylic marker on these as well after they dry. Um, I don't know. I, I can't tell you for sure if you should fix it first to do that. I'm still experimenting with that. Um, but you can go, go back with the acrylic uh, or the, um, the other pens, the graphics pens. I've got a question from Atanasio. Yes. Uh, what kind of surfaces do alcohol inks work best on? All kinds of things, really. Um, you can paper, they've got specific papers for it. I can't remember the name of it. I should have brought that out. The Yupo paper. I like the plastic because of the translucent nature of it. You can lay them on top of each other. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun to do that. Um, I like working in, you can work on canvas. I worked on some of my big pieces, the big, like, big ones like this, will have some sections of using the inks. So they're really exciting, but you, again, outside, outside or, or, or a respirator is highly recommended, in my opinion, and, and, uh, and gloves. Because you really don't want that stuff to penetrate your skin. All right, we're going to try Lagoon. <laughs> Shake it up really hard in there and then find your push pin. Because this one's brand new. A lot of these colors I haven't even looked at yet. We got the big package. I feel like it was kind of. Just before we moved, wasn't it? Yeah, we got a bunch right before we moved. And I, I we were worried it wasn't going to arrive before we moved it to. And I wasn't sure if we would have an opportunity to really play with them for a while. So I, I kind of picked the flower because we're outdoors. And, you know, when I if you go back in our archives, some of the films, we've done some other yeah. outdoor stuff. That feels weird. I don't, I don't see you guys. Like, but it's really bright. <laughs> I like to see people's eyes, you know. I didn't bring my sprayer out um, with this in it. I usually would use a sprayer. I wish I had one. Is there a blank in there I can grab for you? Um, you know, there's one with water in it. You can get that. All right, why don't I go right, get that? Uh, you know where it is. Yeah. And uh, she'll be gone just for a minute. Don't worry, everybody. She's coming back. It's not the same without her here. I'll tell you right now. So this one's sort of set up a little, and you can see I'm drawing right on it. Love it. This is just the this stuff is just plain fun. It's just plain, just plain fun. I watered the ferns for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so this is another reason. I recommend outdoors and breathers because when you spray this, it puts it in aerosol form. 
and you, you don't want to aspirate that if you can avoid it, okay? It's like, <laughs> Kristen gave it a thumbs up over here. We have a nice breeze, so there's probably water in here, too. Come smell this, will you? No. <laughs> well, How about open, no? Let's open it. I... <laughs> All right, here we go. If something happens, then we know there's uh, alcohol in there. It looks like water. Still. <laughs> Although I smelled it. Let's do it again. Oh, there it goes. There we go. We'll let that work for a little bit. Should put a nice sheen in there. Yeah, it's starting to work already. I love that. Let's take a let's take our handy graphics marker and I think we'll do some yellow lines in there. Anybody have any questions out there? Quiet day. Yeah. Well they're so enthralled with the process. Oh, yes. So that didn't work exactly like I wanted. And I temporarily contaminated my marker. Yeah. But that's okay. See it comes off. Maybe I can't see anything over here. There we go. So you can work with this stuff in here too. I mean this is just a simple I think, I think we got me some muslin or something. Yeah, actually, started. um Hannah Fabrics. Hi. Fabrics. Is it really? Yeah, they can maybe get some more fabric for the tapestries. Whoa. This is opaque. Um, looks like a copper. <clears throat> I love being able to just walk down the street to things. Yeah, I'm so nice. in love with the whole neighborhood concept. <laughs> so that needed to be shook up a lot more. Like I said, I didn't prep particularly well. <laughs> the metallic yellow is amazing. So there's a great uh, talk today that we'll probably miss because it's our third Saturday today. Open house if you're Open in Duluth, house, come Saturday. see us. Um, if you're in Duluth. But also at two o'clock, there's a talk with a Finnish, I think she's Finnish. Yeah. Um, Figurative cord paint? Uh, no, yeah, controlled, it's controlled. It's controlled. There's, I'm not sure it's a lot of pouring. Oh, thank you. Carl. So that's something. And then come down to our house. Yeah, um, and I'm sad because I'm going to miss it. But we we do the regular um, third, Saturday. third Saturday every third Saturday. So there wasn't much we could do about it. <laughs> this is what we do. Yeah, so it's fuzzed it fuzzed it a little bit using that, which is really cool. The other thing I can do on there. Again, that is the, al the isopropyl alcohol. Let's see if we can get some other colors. I tend to go a little crazy with color with this stuff um, because it's just plain fun. <laughs> so these, I have a couple. I, I what what did it is this morning, Kristen, when I posted. Uh -huh. If you go to the Instagram, I don't think I put it on the Facebook. You'll see an image of. of one of the 16 by 20s mm. that they had done. And I was like, oh, that's sound like As an answer to your question, Daryl, no. I don't think he's done that. And I can't actually say it out loud because I'll get dinged. <laughs> but, you know, if it's legal in your state. <laughs> yeah, we do, you know, if you're on social media, you do have to be careful what you're saying. Um, because I, I do believe that what you're writing that there's a mechanical algorithm that they've set up and it's not smart enough usually to to be actually correct and one example a perfect example of this is when we were posting um we tried to run an ad oh, gosh. Post christmas ornaments yeah christmas ornaments it came back that we were we were canned and, and we were slowed down i think oh yeah for a while, because they it was illegal to sell to sell ammunition and armaments. <laughs> so 
so yeah, we can't sell ornaments online anymore. Um, can you bring up the Duralar again? You got sure. a question about what you're changing on? Yeah. From Monaco. And thanks. Yeah, we love those shirts. We make them. I didn't put them up online recently, but. All right, I, uh, I can do it. Right, I'm going to just be a Vanna White here. <laughs> You're more than a Vanna White. You're on the cameras, too. And I'm just going to do this. There you go. <laughs> this just comes across it. <laughs> Thank you, man. You're welcome. So I didn't like that. I could just pull it off and change that dynamic a lot just by doing that. And remember, you can only scratch through this, too. And I've worked with textured surfaces. Somebody asked about surfaces. So I've also sandpapered the heck out of these and, and played with the surface. And it gives a really frosty effect and some really neat looks. Um, are we still on there? Yeah, I just keep making worry about the heat. Because all these things. We have new equipment coming. That's Yay! exciting big news, don't we? We have exciting big news. Equipment is going to be coming. You know, Brand new stuff, so finally. So excited. We like, found, I talked so fast, I got in trouble. I was so excited. Yeah, we were talking a mile, 100 miles a minute. It was hilarious. I happened to be there for the meeting, online meeting that she was at. But you got a really cool, it's a local grant, right? It's actually but, a national group, but oh, national. Uh, my cohort is being in part funded by the city um, and the mayor's office. Cool. So we're getting the equipment. We got mics and stands and lights and cameras and, cameras and action. Lenses, microphones, microphones. So, so excited, excited about the microphones. <laughs> it's so fluffy. Yeah. I'm <laughs> All right. Anybody can answer what movie that one's from. You're not getting a prize, but I'll just be impressed. <laughs> So still gestural, still a little abstract, but adding some elements into it here. Let me see if I can find black. Black. That was quick. Oh, if that goes down, I can take the phone. I know, if I take off my sunglasses. Oh, I can see. Then I can put my glasses glasses on. Oh, yeah. Now I can read things. All right. Nobody's going to get it, huh? It's Despicable Me. The first one. Yes. <laughs> I'm taking liberties now. When don't you? <laughs> <laughs> A question from Monica. How do you seal these? She says she uses Kamar. Yeah, that's a, a good question. And, and they, they do tend to be a little fragile. Uh, I'm experimenting with that still. Yeah, I don't think I have a good, good I, I system treat them, I treat them as if they're they're watercolors, basically. So I would I would use something that is a non non um, uh, solvent based whatever you put on it, and I wouldn't brush it. I would I would get a really fine mist sprayer and try the Gaga fixative. Um, it may or may not work, but we're going to do some more experiments with this. And if you're out there and you know some stuff about this, please share. I said many two years ago when we started this, yeah. I'm going to do new techniques in front of you and I'm going to probably do them badly. And I want to learn from you as well as you learn from me. That's what, that's what's so awesome about the online community. It's the, it's the artist ecosystem, right? What, so who I'm are you look, trying I'm to talk look at to? my wife. Oh, I'm like, you're out of frame. Get back in frame. I'm going to get a whip. I'm going to start poking you from behind you. <laughs> Poking me with a stick, eh? Yeah. So this is white. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, this is silver. I'll get it right one of these times. And Kristen will show you this up close in a minute. So it's got a little ripple in it, so things are going where they want to go. Oh, it's so cool the way it reacts. Can you see? I'll put another. Look at it. Can they see that? Can you see that? It's like little universe. I'm sorry, we'll be able to get YouTube a little better, but do you have some shorts up about this? Yes, I do. So there's some shorts on all the platforms, I think, with the inks doing that really spacey thing. 
it's so awesome. And I don't think it's fluffy, but it's really awesome. <laughs> okay, what are we gonna do next? Let me get a little closer. There we go. Let's try. I was thought it was gonna be white. That's called Diamond Sparkle. Is it literally called Diamond yep. Sparkle? Oh my gosh. Let's get the white in here and see what happens. Somebody's giving their best life naming those things. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Come on. Who knows that one? <laughs> Somebody in the Netherlands or Denmark probably knows that. Is anybody from the uh, Scandinavian countries? You guys see a lot of names that make you think it's a lot of South America. Tell us where you're from. Every week. You want to know. Oh, thank you, Ungrateful Angel. <laughs> it's a nice name. I love that. It's pretty funny. Hi, Giselle. Yeah, and like Kristen always says, check out each other's profiles. Yeah. If you're an artist. Support each other. Support your, your friends and family in the art world. So Monica's in the Redlands in California. Oh, hi. That, I, yeah, I knew that, actually. But nobody else did. <laughs> Texas, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Wait, is that New Mexico or is that California? California. That's California. It's Nancy. My geography. Hi, Nancy. Nice to see you this week again. Apparently, it's still wet up there because of Somebody's the Somebody from the United States with a lot of fire and a bicep. I don't know oh what that gosh. means. There's fires. A lot of fires, I think, is what they mean. No, it? no, I think they mean it's fire. Oh. We're too old to go to understand that. Somebody, <laughs> and, I, and, and by the way, I, I know we've gotten some messages I haven't responded to, but I'm not always clear with the lingo they're using. <laughs> we got a couple young, younger viewers, and yeah. they're using like cringe and but that's the one that I might sort of yeah, know. that yeah all the stuff. We're, too, we're, we're old. Our, our oldest is nineteen, and in the workforce, our youngest is four and a half year old. He doesn't use that stuff yet. We're still trying to teach him to speak normal. <laughs> Where are we? We are in Duluth, Minnesota. It's so pretty. Look at the sparkles. All right, let's do some more of the black in there. That's just fun. You know what? I'm gonna get the diamond sparkle. I wonder what will happen if I drop it in around. I don't know. I spend so much time on TikTok. I, I occasionally slip into those terms, and then people give me funny looks. Well, your husband certainly will give you funny looks. Yeah, well, I don't I even have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Hands are a little shaky. Coffee. And frankly, they're just exhausted. A lot of physical labor this week. That's fun. Sparkle. It is well named. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Well, I'm going to turn the screen brightness down in hopes of keeping the phones from overheating. Yeah, so previous times we've done this, we've had trouble with overheating phones. That means I can't read anything. I think that's not going to work. So this may not be as long as normal because of the fact that we can't, we can't. Um, We're playing overheat roulette. Yeah. So you'll have to excuse us if we, if we get to go. Hopefully not. These are fun. Does anyone else work with these inks? I can't hear you. I'm waiting for an answer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's not that sort of live show. Bye, Monica. Thanks for joining us today. So the combination, you can get really, really crazy using these. Like, like super crazy. With the color, particularly, the colors are so phenomenal. And there's some really good, I mean, there's some people that have really learned to manipulate this stuff. There was one in, in uh, of all places, Grayling, Michigan. Remember that one at the, at the gallery there in Grayling? No. That's right, we were ju you were juggling the kiddo. I had two girls chasing him around. I, don't, I didn't see any of that. 
So there is somebody there that would, that's really worked nicely with these. And the real secret, I think, is the extender. They call it an extender if you buy it, but again, it's the isopropyl. And that works really well. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a second. Oh, we've got quite a crew coming this afternoon, it sounds like. No more people? I coming. think I'll do like eight or nine, ten. But they've it's pretty good. It's always it's been good on turnout. this. Yeah. Because we've got, we've got the... Um, uh, the air show going. Yep. We got the Agate Festival up there. And there's a lot of stuff. We got the Joseph Muse thing going at the galley there. Joseph Muse. I don't know what their at is on it. But you give them some loving. Really cool place. And as usual, always go down to Lizards. Lizards Fine Art and Framing. Yes, in downtown Duluth. Downtown Duluth. For one thing, they represent my work. <laughs> <laughs> For another, they're just great guys and gals. Just really awesome people, and they they are there to help you. I don't know why I ship the um, extender. Nico, do you mean the painting he's making right now? You want on a t-shirt? Sure, I can do that. What size? <laughs> yeah, DM must do that too. Will you? you might want to wait until you make sure I didn't ruin it. <laughs> Bye, Color Bright. See you next week. See you. Keep on painting. All right, what am I going to do down here in this green section? I like, I like what's happening. Some sparkle still sparkly. Still sparkly? Still sparkling, like crazy, man. Put a little more orange up in here. I, can't, I just love my orange. I love my orange. That's still wet there. This music is. It's going to go over by land. Uh, I'm going to have to curl up and take another nap at this rate. Let me just get there. Let's get the next one. So a lot of, a lot of uh, residual stuff down here. It's oh my God, it's hot. I'm, I'm damp. Just going down my shirt. Yeah. Did I Nothing's coming out. You know why? Because it's not open. I'm looking forward to seeing the people show up today. I cleaned the whole studio you know, all night long. You know, yeah, basically. I couldn't sleep at 2.30. And I was like, I've been having bad dreams for days. Lots of anxiety. And so I got up. I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm not going to spend another night. <laughs> so I'm going to make it productive. And then, so I went out. So when you do the, so if you do this over somewhat dry, it takes a little longer. It doesn't spread as quickly. But if you do it wet into wet technique, it's really dramatic effect. And it's, it's a lot of fun. Bettina says she does this a lot. Oh, um, and she says, FYI, in case you don't know, it's important to use 90% isopropyl alcohol. Yeah. So I don't have 90% here because I, I couldn't find mine. But she is right. That's a good pointer. I'm just going to warn everybody on TikTok, my phone is about to die. It's too hot. The screen is going black. Is it? On TikTok? Yeah. I, I knew this was going to happen. So you can layer the colors, which is also very fun. Actually, I'm going to rescue my phone. Say goodbye to TikTok. Okay, TikTok. <laughs> Bye, We're going to be here still on YouTube and Insta. TikTok, thanks for visiting us. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> and again, this is David Austin with DavidAustinGallery.com with my lovely, beautiful wife and brilliant, brilliant tech person, Kristen. <laughs> and they took a dive.
Yeah, this is almost exactly the same. Oh, sorry, it's like, you guys. There's always something exciting when we do this. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go put this in a cold space because this is hot. Are you coming back? Yeah, I'm coming back. Because you're putting yourself in a cold space too. We're really lucky the studio stays is quite cool, even in the big heat like this. This is so fun. I'd forgotten how much fun this was. <laughs> really, honestly, I completely, completely forgotten. It almost looks like water down here. Maybe I'll play with that concept. A lot of water is pretty dark. So we'll, we'll go with kind of the black. There's already, how about turquoise? Let's do some turquoise. Yeah, that was, that was really, that's some sad sounding music. Yeah. Let's try R and B and soul. I think I'm gonna put the silver in there again. Diamond sparkles. I don't know. Kind of fun to sparkles. That's better. I think I'll just drip it, drill around and splash it. Where have you been all my life? Diamonds. <laughs> and what I can do, look at it's all over my gloves. What I can do later is go back and redefine things. Um, and, and it's going to be an experiment. We're going to try this later. Uh, I'll keep you informed. Stay in touch on that one. See, that's pretty much dry. So as long as I don't rub it, you can do a mark. If you rub it, then it'll pick up the, the previous layer and start to play with that previous layer. So you do want to kind of watch when you're working with the markers over the top of it. I was going to do more up in here, but I'm kind of liking, liking, liking it. <laughs> and you see what it did with the, the spray when it's black? Kind of marbleized that. I like that a lot too. So I'm going to do that over here with this. And that'll work that for a little bit. Whew, gotta wait for that one. Yeah. Nice day. That's nice day. What else should we do with here, huh? Hmm. We need to take that blue all the way from over here. I must be missing the big pond because I'm drawing apparently a pond scene. <laughs> oh, yeah, Hugo was complaining about it the other day again. I waited a long time to build that thing. I only got to use it for two years. that just a little bit. There it goes. Yeah, that's fun. So you can build layer on layer and layer, but at a certain point it can become pretty muddy. Um, so you can scrape things off. So just by using that uh, extender, you could scrape clean in an area like I did earlier too. That's why I have this around in case I really hate something I can just go right over the top of it. Really fascinating what's happening in, the, in some of these. I like it a lot. Okay, where else should we do this? What, how, how long have we been at it? About 42 minutes. About 42 minutes, yeah. And I mean, answer your, your any phone's questions. gonna go next, so yeah. <laughs> any questions from anybody before we uh, get close to signing off? 
remember our motto? Hi, hashtag create without fear. I'm back around the other side so everybody can see the everybody come around and check it the out. The right please. way. So I like the little nibs on these because you can draw with them too. But bearing in mind that everything can be like that. But that's also kind of the fun, I think, is the joy of, of the discovery. It's the joy of exploration in, in your art. And I want to encourage all of you to go out there, create without fear, try something new this week. Tag us in a piece. We'd like to see it. I think it'd be really cool to see what you're doing. Did you want to show YouTube then? Yeah, yeah I will. Uh, yeah, Siobhan is sending me questions over the DM. She just got here. Uh -oh. Our phone's about to overheat. Yeah. We would stay on. But really, my hands are. Look at that. It's, that's how warm it is. <laughs> my equipment's going down. And I, I am too. <laughs> anyway, this is a lot of fun experimenting with this. This is going to be a cool piece later on. Uh, I'll probably work it some more. I'm going to take a short break, but I appreciate you all being. This is David Austin with DavidAustinGallery.com. Thank you again for visiting us. Check out all of our other videos. We have hundreds of them out there. And shorts. The shorts are really fun. She does them with like miniature music videos. Every one of them. So take care, everybody. We're signing off. Bye-bye.